Jesus allow himself to die on the cross unto our death? Why did God raise Jesus from the dead unto glory and immortality? He did it because he loves us. Paul says, what can separate us from what God has done to conquer our death and clothe us in glory and immortality because he loves us? Nothing can separate us, man. Nothing. Nothing. This is the revelation Paul had. The things in your life, man, the tribulation, they're trying to tell you you're separated from life. Paul is saying God has done something that you can never be separated from life again. The thing you think you don't have, the thing you're laboring and toiling trying to get, God has come and offered it to you as a free gift. He's come to put your flesh to rest. All you do is accept it. So look what Paul says. It is Christ that died. It's Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen, who is even at the right hand of God, who also made it intercession for us, who is risen and at the right hand of God, who made it intercession for us. When does he make intercession for us? When the death that's in the world tries to come with the word of condemnation telling us we don't have what we need for life. When a word of condemnation tries to come to us from the world telling us our life is fragile, telling us our life is weak, telling us that our life can be taken from us, telling us that the life we have can be threatened or harmed. It is Christ who absorbed our death into his body, then conquered that death in the resurrection, and is now seated at the right hand of God, declaring your life to you. He's not just declaring his life. He's declaring to you your life. So that that word of an incorruptible life, an eternal life that can never die in a human body, can now intercede in your heart. In the day when you find yourself in a world where death is trying to come against your body, where death is trying to come against your life, where tribulation is trying to come and tell you that your life is dying, that death is reigning over you. The word of an incorruptible life in Christ that is declaring your life, it intercedes in your heart in those moments. And it saves your soul from the fear of death. It saves it saves your soul from being subverted, and it fills your soul with life, and you become like Stephen. When the tribulation came against Stephen, and they were about to kill him, tribulation came against Stephen. And what did Stephen say? The word of an incorruptible, eternal life dwelling in a human body that had conquered death. It interceded in his heart. And what did he say? He said, I see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of God. What is he saying? I see a human being with an incorruptible, eternal life in a human body. And I see that human being is not just declaring something about his life, but he's declaring something about my life. And that interceded in his heart when the fear of all these guys picking up big stones to now come and kill him with. It interceded in his heart. It saved his heart from the fear of death. And it allowed him to sit there and say, Father... Forgive them, for they know not what they do. You guys see that? Now what happens, guys, when we hear the word of the resurrection, when we can understand God as our kinsman redeemer, we become like Stephen. Well, we will say the same thing. Whether we have money problems, whether we have problems with our kids, whether we have problems in our jobs, whether we have problems in our health, whether we have problems in anywhere in our lives, whether we have problems in our church, whether we have problems with persecution, where people hate us because we say Jesus is the time, where people hate us because we say not by our works, but by God's works. When they reject us in the church, when they cast us out, when they say we're from the devil, what will intercede in our hearts in those moments and save us from the fear that wants to come against us? The word of an internal, incorruptible life seated in a human body at the right hand of God. It will intercede in our hearts. It will find ourselves saying the same thing that Stephen said. I see the testimony of my life in a human body seated at the right hand of God. And I see that that life is declaring something about my life. And that life is declaring to me that the life I possess in a human body can never be conquered by death. But the life I possess in this body will raise up this body and conquer any death that ever tries to come against it. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Glory to God. Yes. Amen.